Hey, John here, the coach behind the scene. This is kind of like take three on this one because things keep going wrong on my run, as in obstacles and people, etc. So, what this session or this episode is about is our technology. It's about how it's useful and yet at times it can actually be really destructive. And so, making sure we get people to understand that it's a loose guide, it's not the holy grail. Okay, what's the holy grail? Well, basically that's your psychology and your physiology and how you interpret those. So this thing could be telling me I'm on a mega, negative nine performance and yet my heart rate's stable. I'm probably going a little bit quicker than I normally would as well for that effort. Yet my performance indicator is minus nine. Now I'll see that minus nine and I'll be, oh my God, what's going on? I've not got anything right. People will get depressed, people will get down about it, stressed about it. And there you go, you've got this massive negative issue around something that some computers just told you. Your computer is the best computer. Now, I try to get athletes to understand and re-look at data, physical data. So ignoring this and saying, okay, well, what was your average speed? Okay, what was your average power if it was on a bike? What was your heart rate doing? Right, okay, how did you feel? You felt great, okay. So all of these things have added up. You're going quicker, lower effort, higher watts. You felt great, but because your watch or your bike mount computer or whatever tech it was told you, you were in a minus nine negative performance state, you sack the session off. Yeah, it's, for me, it's a real difficult one. I should start running again. Um, but trying to get that across is that you've got to look at everything. Don't just take one thing and say, oh my God, that's correct. Like with what stuff that I'm saying, it's very much just personal for me as a coach, but I expect after any of these videos, people go and research it. You know, there's other sides to stories always. And I'd always, from my academic background was, if I heard one thing somewhere, I'd go and research the heck out of that, but also the opposite and other ideas as well to see if I could then find a common ground that I think, mm, actually, yeah, no, I believe that, or no, I think it needs altering. But yeah, so don't become a slave to these things. Use them for what they're for, gathering data and then process that data. Don't let them do it all for you. Okay, cheers.